in renewing the ties between the United Kingdom and Kenya, a country that has long held such special meaning for my family. Najiskia Kama Niko Niumbani. Now, it is well known, I think, that my dear mother, the late Queen, had a particular affection for Kenya and the Kenyan people. She arrived here in 1952, a princess, but left uh, as queen. It is extremely moving to read her diary from that visit, in which she wrote that she did not want to miss a moment of Kenya's extraordinary landscapes. I really cannot thank you enough for the support Kenya gave her through that difficult time. Ten years later, my father, the late Duke of Edinburgh, attended the celebrations of Kenya's independence. To mark that, the occasion, Her Late Majesty wrote to President Jomo Kenyatta to convey her sincere hope that with God's guidance, Kenya would prosper and that her people would have peace and contentment in full measure. Nearly 50 years later, it was here uh, in sight of Mount Kenya that my son, the Prince of Wales, proposed to his wife, now my beloved daughter-in-law. For my part, I recall as if it were yesterday my first visit to Kenya in 1971 with my sister, the Princess Royal. It was, it is fair to say, I was, it is fair to say, somewhat younger then and um, I can well remember the meeting I had with President Jomo Kenyatta, a towering statesman who inspired such great admiration, affection, and respect. On subsequent visits here, I was most fortunate to be able to spend some time with Kenyan conservationists, from whose profound knowledge of their environment I learned so much. Among them was the late great environmentalist and Nobel Prize winner, uh, Wangari Maathai, someone whom I greatly admired and loved. And I'm very much looking forward to spending a little time with her daughter uh, this week and to planting the tree in her mother's memory. As Wang as Wangari Maathai said, when we plant trees, we plant the seeds of peace and seeds of hope. 